Welcome back my friends, gather around, because this week I had the craziest time on the official servers. Oh that, that is perfect camouflage. My plan was to thrive and explore this open world. This bridge is like fully disguising this smoke. And some of the PvP action I got into was just beautiful. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying my video too, I'd truly appreciate it if you drop a uh, like on it. It helps me out in ways you cannot imagine. But it's never been about the destination. It's always been about the journey. And everything that happened along the way. So let us go back to the very beginning. Let's get moving. Let's go get some food. Get some basics. Got myself a uh, what here, plum. Let's eat that. Oh, it's Halloween, so I look all messed up. Of course. I was only a few minutes into my new adventure. Still on the coastline looking for medical supplies, the basics, and that's when I got interrupted. I cleared out the zombie, but then I heard a problem. Footsteps. Somebody else was looking for an easy third party. Oh, damn. The dude tried to beat me to death with a frying pan. What's he got? He didn't have a great deal of crap on him, but what he did have. It would help me get started. He tried to jump me with a frying pan. Lucky I know how to box now in this game. Well, I would have been screwed. Thanks for the drink too, mate. Um... That, I did not expect that. He looked like a zombie at first. And then I saw the... The, the frog. <laughs> I was like, oh god. But yes. I boxed him. Got a backpack down there. I'll take his backpack. He was hitting me with a frog. Oh, it's in good nick too. That, I'll definitely... Moving on. I was clearing out more of the zombies. <laughs> when all of a sudden... There was a thunderous boom directly above me. Whoa, missile. That just hit here. Look at that. Oh, I've got to get moving. A contaminated green gas filled the streets, leaving the air unbreathable. <coughs> oh no, I'm already bleeding. Oh god. Oh no. I passed through a hallway, hoping to escape the immediate danger. I'll be bleeding inside too, I'm pretty sure. Alright, I got, I got out of there though. So I need to get this bleed off. That, oh, I'm still in it. There was still one zombie left over. I quickly disposed of it. I've gotten so much better at my melee combat, I'm not gonna lie. I know how to box properly now. So like, I'm pretty confident in most melee fights. I needed weapons, and the closest place to me was an airstrip, just down the coastline. Wait, I see a light? That's oh, just a zombie for sure. Yeah, just a zombie. Real question is, is anyone here? I like to wait a second and sort of just scan the field and see if anyone rocks up. Curiosity. There was nothing in the tents, but a zombie was carrying something I could use. Assault backpack, I think that is. Slowly but surely, I started to collect some of the basics. Alright. Got a handgun. One magazine. Although it's in bad condition, so... And after I had a drink, I felt like it was time to head inland. Soon find out if this does go where I think it goes. I could be wrong. And then, well, that's that. I just go with it regardless. And on my way, I stopped at a cabin to loot it. And that's when I discovered the landlord. That zombie looked freaky as, man. 
scared the crap out of me. God damn, Gramps. Tough old coop too. Nice. Well, I need some rags too, so I can um make. I'm gonna turn these into rags so I can get some fresh gloves. Soon after, I got stuck in my tracks by a contaminated zone. So unfortunately, I had to skip Pavlova military base. Well, I couldn't get in there because of the green gas, so that's that's out of the picture. I might have to come back sometime, or with a suit. Bloody rain, man. Last thing I needed. I continued to push north, and under the cover of a heavy storm, I did as much looting as I could. Well, that's not a bad little run. So yeah, you guys, I turned off my, um, uh, what's it called, crosshair for this video too. Because you guys were like, some of you didn't like me having crosshair on. I was like, alright, alright, alright. Let's turn it off. I was, you know, pretty rocky though, so like, I'm getting a little bit better now. So it's like, ah, uh, you know. It takes a while just to do all this. It takes ages. Clean out all the mags, replace the bad bullets. Where am I going to put this bad boy? I finally found a zombie that was wearing some plate armor. This was a huge upgrade. Alright, so let's throw this on. We need to throw this good food. Alright, yeah, we got smoke down there. Is someone cooking? Maybe they're cooking. There was a downed helicopter nearby. A good opportunity for some high tier loot. Man, I'm getting geared up though now. Holy crap. I'm just missing a sniper. Replace the shorty. And then I'm really certain. That has got to be a helicopter. I picked up some junk that I'd only drop a few minutes later. No point carrying badly damaged extra crap. Alright, I, I just got a really good drum magazine for my shotgun. So, I'm kind of happy with that. I mean, not kind of happy, I'm really happy with that. Alright, time to leave this joint and head towards the airfield. I think I'm going the right way. But I might be going the complete wrong way. I still have not mastered the map. Not even close. Hopefully I can find some animals because I'm going to get hungry. I only have two cans of food. And one of them's half eaten. And so into the forest, hunting, following the sounds of the wildlife. Nice. Because without a good supply of cooked meat, I won't last long. Alright, that's I'm covered with food now. That is exactly. I drawed out my blade and started carving. Into the body. Beautiful. As long as no one's around, it could be, you never know. <laughs> and once the job was done, I needed firewood. Ooh. That's light. I started up a fireplace and was getting ready to dry out my meat. Let's go, baby, let's go. She's cooking. Best bit is, I can defend this at least. Don't burn on me. And when I was done, I was ready to leave town with a good stock of food. He's cool. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> See, you don't need a map from Google, man. You can follow the maps in the towns. That's how I like to do it. And it works quite well. I'd made it to the centre, the northwest airfield. Oh, time to loot. What I really need is night vision. That's what I'm missing. That's very close. This is a popular destination for anyone seeking out the best loot. I'll go down. If I'm not careful, I will be picked off and killed. That zombie just gave me a beating. Right. 
Remember this moment, because some things come back to bite you on the ass. And this is the same spot someone once put one on me. Not the same area, but the same design, like in this little area like this. I wonder if I have to remotely detonate it. Or if they step on it, will I do it? Yes. Alright. I'll take it. I found an SK later that night in the tents. About time. Now, I had long range. In a portal loop, I unboxed some ammo. And then loaded up my SK. I'd logged out for the day and would return roughly 20 hours later, nice and refreshed. Come on, give me some army food. I had plenty of food, but barely any water, and was eating all of my supplies just to stay hydrated. Alright, that's all I've got. No running. Save that stamina. I need to get to a town. I need water. I'll probably come back here once I've got some water but unfortunately at the moment I'm all out and I got no food that provides me water I've only got dried meat now I think I see a town over there I do so I'm gonna head over there and get some water and hopefully if I find some water then I can return and keep on looting because there's one thing I really want and it's night vision goggles I still don't have any on my way to the closest town to find water I found something, or rather, someone else. There we go. But that person was not alone. He had an associate. There we go. Sit still. Oh, I kicked off the game. Are you kidding me? After a small rage fit, I logged back on as fast as I could. Luckily, I was still alive. I so see he's heading towards the airfield, if anywhere. Oh man, I got like no water. There's only one place that they were going to be heading, and that was to the northwest airfield. But they could be anywhere here in the woods, and if they see me first, And for a second, I thought I'd found them, but it was just the walking dead. I'd got one, at least knocked him down unconscious, but there was a second player. I was positive. I'm pretty sure. Let's back up a bit. Because I got a zombie on me. Is there a second one? I started to question myself. Maybe one had logged out. Or maybe they were completely different people. I'd killed one of them. They were completely down. But it was best to make sure. Where's the other one? I picked up some of the locals. After all, we'd made a lot of noise. 
Where's the other one? They got up, I'm pretty sure. He's not the one I saw, I saw a different one. No, I saw a different one. Where's the other one? He was unconscious, but he had to be alive. His body was not here. I shot a different one from my scope. There was a piece of fruit on the ground. Someone spawned it in. Got him. Alright, nice. That was... That was him, I'm pretty sure. Was that him? Yeah, he's the one who had weapons on the back. Okay, cool. We got him. Any food? Alright, so he had an AK. Take his food. Take his ammo. Oh, that was actually a good little 1v2. I am getting better. I'm slowly getting better. I had better weapons than them though. And I got the drop. But I guess that's what Daisy is about, really. This guy doesn't look like he's got very good gear. And he's got a CR. Oh, actually, he's got a fair bit. Including some scopes, some ammo. Actually, this guy's got lots for me. Nice! Repair kit. God damn, this was a good score. These guys were loaded, actually. With everything I need. Thank you, gentlemen. Whoa! Look at all that food. And a repairing kit, too, so I can fix my magazines. Some nicely cooked up food in here. Wolf steaks. These guys have been out and doing some adventures. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That was exactly what I needed to. I can go back to the military base and look for night vision. I've got to ditch one of these guns though. Like, I've got to make up my mind which door I want the AK or the M16. I was now back at the Northwest Airfield looking for my last piece of the puzzle. Two of them. I put on a bad display of shooting and let a good opportunity slip. Oh, I'm not a very good shot. <laughs> but I did hit him once, right in the hip. <laughs> Only two of them too. Now that, that guy's going to be coming here any second. But they never pursued me. Even though there was two of them, my guess is one of them was just too injured. I don't think I got that one in the bush either. Like, at all. I tried to follow them from a safe distance, but this was much easier said than done. Someone is close. It sounded like they'd left the airfield and was heading for one of the nearby towns. But I'm not sure, unless they change some of their gear, this could be a different pair of players. Shit, I just missed my opportunity, I think. <sighs> no. Loot, you son of a bitch. There's two of them down there. Hit him. I'd landed a hit, but he was wearing plate armor. How's my... Problem is there's two, so I can't sweat him and go down there. Heavy feeling that shot, though. All I'm going to do is just try reposition and get some new high ground. I slowly circled around the town, and they were holding up in one of the houses. I don't know where they are. Which one? I'm not exactly sure. But unfortunately, I never did find them. They snuck out one of the back doors and ghosted me. This time I ditched it. It's just way too much extra weight. Alright, let's keep moving. You just never know when your last moment's gonna be your last moment. 
Jesus, that was loud. I found a small assault backpack with nice camouflage, much lighter than my tactical one. I've been farming this military base for ages. I've got everything I need apart from one thing, night vision. So it goes down in half an hour. I needed to lose weight and be lighter on my feet. I can hear cows. Nice. Right, let's go. And finally, some fresh meat was now back on the menu. I butchered her right there in the field, looking for the best pieces. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, this saves me having to leave the base and go too far. I can hang around another day. Which is excellent. Oh, look at the quality of that fat too. Nice. That'll do her. Let's get away from here. In case anyone heard that. Go upstream a little bit and use the cover of these trees. This looks good to me. I was looking forward to having well cooked steaks for dinner. Cook, baby, cook. Oh, there we go, it's bacon now. There's the smoke. <laughs> and there we go, beautiful. Stop. You with you, or you with you. Haven't heard anyone in a little while. It's been a few days now. I've been here for, this is the longest I've spent in like one area. I did another circle of the airfield looking for night vision goggles, but I never found any. So if you guys are enjoying my video too, so far, because I reckon this probably will end up as a video, unless I get killed and I just don't have enough content. But if it does, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Don't forget to drop a like, it helps with the algorithm. And yeah, I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I didn't fully understand where I was. I was unfamiliar with the city. I might have been here once or twice before, but that would be it. Where I am, holy crap. There's a will right there. But I'm a simple man. If there's water and food, then I'm happy. Look where I am. I'm, I'm close to, I think they call it Tipsy Base or something up there. I might as well head up there. I thought I was like way down here somewhere. Just goes to show. So this is the only way I use a map. Is if I come across one in game. So. Have a drink. Got a fresh sewing kit there too, that's handy. I could finally fill up my water bottle and stay hydrated. It's definitely a helicopter. I reckon I'll just clear out the zombies with my SK. Save my M16s ammo. Bunch of zombies around it. Let's take this off for now. We look good. Let's make this quick. Night vision goggles. Yes, the main thing I wanted. After scoring a pair of night vision goggles at the crash site, I was ready to move on to Tizzy military base. Let's get a little closer. Wouldn't mind a male. Get the buck if I can. And I did a little bit of hunting along the way. There it is, look at a big boy. Absolutely gorgeous. Hello gorgeous. <laughs> Down he goes. Beautiful. Nice. Plenty. The animals can have the rest. I cannot carry that much. Now, hopefully I'm heading the right way. I'd made it to the airfield late that night, and I continued my search for better equipment. Some of this has been opened. And to restock up on my ammunition. The base was awfully quiet apart from the walking dead and the wildlife. A 
I found a landmine and I thought it was bugged out because I couldn't pick it up. Oh! And when I stepped on it, well, that's when I realised. Remember that time when I planted some C4 on the ground for any random soul that might just accidentally walk onto it? This has got to be karma. Ah, oh, god damn it. Anyone's around, they would have heard that. This same bass man. Alright, I know how to make a splint nowadays at least. Come on, let me up. Come on. There was bloody wolves out there too. I need to close that door. I picked up my M16 and then I was greeted by a wolf at the front door. I need to be laying down. Oh god. See, I was under the impression that if I moved too much, I would collapse and lose consciousness and be left for the wolves. But in reality, I didn't actually have any broken bones. I could have moved around. I just didn't realise and was prepared for the worse. I could be in big trouble. I need to crawl closer. If any of these zombies even touch me the slightest, I will die. We're all good. I am laying down. Might be alright. I pulled down a morphine injector and stabbed it into my leg. Alright. Let's recover. Crawled up to the front and closed the door. Okay, my legs ain't broken. Why are my legs not broken? Wait, is it because I got the morphine cranking? Those wolves and zombies though, I was like, oh. For a minute I thought I was a goner. Just cause like, if those zombies even touched me once, I was gonna be dead. So I wonder if someone planted that landmine there, they must have. A blanket of rain started to come down heavy, covering the land. I do not need a flu though. That's not something I want. Alright, I think I've had enough for today. <laughs> I'm logging out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. But the story doesn't end there. It's not quite over. You see, I logged in the next day and was ready to press on. 19. Finally. Badly damaged, which is a bit annoying. It was a nice, quiet afternoon. I'd just finished looting a building, and when I walked outside... Don't know what I got killed by. <laughs> Instant death, too. That was a landmine, possibly. Bloody landmines everywhere. And the only reason I didn't live that one is because I was at like half health. Well, ladies, gentlemen, friends. I truly hope that you enjoyed my video. DayZ is a masterpiece. A beautiful, punishing survival game. And that's why a few hours later, I was back at it. I just cleared a fence and was leaving the police department. And that's when I killed a camper who was waiting for me to exit. Buddy, what'd you have on you? Oh, he had a lot on him, too. Oh, lucky he missed that shot. And the rest is a story for another time. If you made it this far through my video, I want to say thank you very much. I truly appreciate it.
This is your friend Dow, signing out.